In this video we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria approximate by rounding to a whole number or to one or two decimal places. You can locate the questions on the massmass.com website under level one. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculator questions and then we'll move to the calculator questions. Here is the first one. Round 11.348 correct to two decimal places. Decimal places means digits after the decimal point. So here is decimal point. We've got one, two decimal places up to this point. So we've got to get rid of the third digit after the decimal point. So that's an eight. If it's five, six, seven, eight or nine, that means we round up. So this four here will become a five and then the digits in front will just stay as they are. So 11.35 is the answer here. Write 6.384 correct to one decimal place. So one decimal place means one digit after the decimal point. So this will be the cutoff point. On the right, the first digit after the three, after that cutoff point, that is eight. So again, we're going to round up because it's above five. So the three will become four, one more. And the six that is in front will remain the same. So 6.4 is the answer here. What is 7.2857 rounded to two decimal places? So that's one, two. This is the cutoff point. Looking on the right, the first digit is a five. So again, five, six, seven, eight, or nine means rounding up. So the eight will become nine, two, and the seven will remain unchanged. 7.29 is the answer. What is 8.35719 rounded to two decimal places? One, two decimal places. Here is the cutoff point. So the seven. That tells us we need to round up. So the 5 becomes 6, 3 remains unchanged, and so does 8. 8.36 is the answer here. What is 2043.6666? So the 6 is recurring, rounded to two decimal places. So then we have 1, 2 decimal places. Looking at the digit on the right, that's a six again, so we're going to round up. So the six becomes seven. This six remains the same, and so will all the other digits in front of the seven. So 2043.67 is the answer. We now move into calculator questions. Hamid organizes a go-karting party for himself and five friends. So that's six of them. The cost is £29.95 per person. He uses rounding to estimate the cost for the whole group. How much is the estimated cost? So it's five and one, that is six of them, six friends, times the cost per person, £29.95, We'll round that to 30. So let's round it to the nearest whole number. This would be the cutoff point. Looking at the 9 means we round up. So the 9 there will become 10. So 0 down, 1 carried over, 2 and 1 is 3. So this is 30 pounds to the nearest whole number. So 6 times 30 gives us 180 pounds.
Chester is decorating some of the rooms in his house. He needs to know the area of a window. The window measures 3 meters wide and 1.75 meters high. Round 1.75 to the nearest whole number and use this value to estimate the answer to 3 times 1.75. So we'll round 1.75 to the nearest whole number. So whole number, that would be this part before the decimal point. So this is the cutoff point. We're looking immediately on the right. That's a 7. So that means we need to round up. If it's 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we round up. So that means this digit here becomes a 2. One more. If that 7 wasn't a 7, but it was 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, then we'd round down. So the 1 would remain as it is. So the answer would be 1. So let's just give you an example. If it was 1.45, so that would be a 4, and this would be rounded to 1. But that isn't the case. It's actually a 7. So we'll round up, and the answer is 2. So 1.75 to the nearest whole number is a 2. Now we've got to multiply it by 3. That gives us 6. So now 6 is the answer to the estimate of 3 times 1.75. So there were two steps involved. One was to round 1.75 and then use that answer to get an estimate to 3 times 1.75, which was 6. On arrival, Simon gets a taxi to his hotel. The taxi costs 21 euros. He converts this to pounds and gets the answer 18.168. What is 18.168 to two decimal places? So two decimal places, that is one, two. So this will be the cutoff point. Looking on the right, we've got eight. That means we're going to round up because it's above 5. So we add one more to 6 and it becomes 7. And we keep the digits in front unchanged. So 18.17 is the answer. Calculate 2.5 divided by 0 0.375. Give your answer to two decimal places. So we can use a calculator, 2.5 divided by 0 0.375, which is 6.666. So the 6 is recurring. We've got to give our answer to two decimal places. That is 1, 2. So that's the cutoff point. Looking on the right, we've got 6 there. Again, we're going to round up because 6 is greater than 5. So this 6 here will become 7, one more than 6, and these digits in front will remain unchanged. So the answer is 6.67. Round 7.8652 to two decimal places. So there we have 1, 2, two decimal places, two digits after the decimal point. So looking on the right, we've got a five. Again, if it's a five, we round up. Anything below that, we round down. So that means now the six becomes seven. Digits in front remain unchanged. So 7.87 is the answer. And this is the end of the questions.